Now, before we get started, I should mention that the metronome in Reaper has changed pretty dramatically in recent versions. So you want to make sure you're using Reaper 7.27 or newer to have the same functionality we go over in this video. So in the previous video, I showed you the basic metronome in Reaper, which we could turn on and off in the toolbar right here. This is on and this is off. Turn it on, we have a click track or a metronome for our project. And we could right click the button to open up this dialog. We could set up that metronome. Turn it on and off here, set up the outputs over here, choose when it plays during playback or recording, create a count in for playback or recording, set up the pattern in here using this matrix, make it faster or slower, adjust the volume of the metronome, its frequency or the type of waveform it uses, use custom samples for your click track or metronome, and save the presets over here. But there are limitations to this metronome. For instance, we can't use different clicks for different people. Let's say a drummer wants one, in the control room we want another, maybe the singer wants a different one. We can't do that in this window. We can't use a different tempo from the project tempo. We can't change the click for different parts of the song. Let's say you have multiple songs, and you want a different click for each of them, or click sounds for different parts, and we can't turn it on and off in different sections, or render the click using this metronome. And that's where the click source metronome comes in. So let's turn this off so we don't have our metronome and we don't hear two at the same time. Then we can create a new track. Let's put it up here and name it click source. And then we'll create a time selection based on where we want to put our click. Let's say we just want to use it for accounting. We could select from here to here, go to the insert menu and choose click source. And that puts our click right here as a count in to our song. Notice it doesn't play during the song, just during the count in. And also notice our normal metronome is turned off. So we're just hearing our click from here. But now we could treat this as a separate item in Reaper. If we want to play it through the whole song, we could zoom out, control page down on the PC, Command page down on the Mac, and then just trim it out for the whole song. And now we have a click running through the whole song. But now we can customize it so much more. We could double click it to open up the click source properties window and notice it defaults to the normal metronome. So everything we saw in the other dialog is now being applied to the click source we created. We don't have to use that info. We could turn it off right here and set everything up completely separately for this click source we just created. So we change our tempo to a different tempo, change the beats and measure, change the pattern in here. Let's make it like this. Change our volume, our frequencies, maybe change it to a preset using some clave samples right here. Maybe change the pattern back to this. Hit OK. Now the click has changed. Maybe change the part. Let's double it. We we'll change it up a bit. To anything we want. And we could also just turn it on and off for different sections. So I could split it right here, type S, split it again here and here. Let's delete this one and this one. And now we just have a click as a count in for this section and this section. I have to follow. And again, we could treat these two items differently. Double click this one, maybe change it back to the default samples and frequencies. Maybe change the part back to this. Now this metronome is completely different than this one. I have to follow. 
So every one of these items could be completely different from the default or different from each other. But again, the default is set up right here. But if we turn it off each time, we can make each one of our metronomes different. And this also could be used to create different metronomes for different people or our different performers. So let's start again. Let's create two new tracks, put them up here. Maybe this one is for the drummer and this one is for us. So we can create two click sources. Let's put one here, insert, click source. Let's duplicate it to this one. Zoom out to the entire project, select them both, trim them both to the whole project, zoom back in. We'll change this one to use my custom clave sounds. And we could change the part. Let's remove some of these notes. So it sounds like this. Maybe a drummer wants that. And we want in the control room to be the default, but maybe choose four different sounds like this. And maybe we just want it for the spaces. So I'll split it again and trim this. So what we're hearing in the control room is this. What we can send to the drummer could be this. And we could adjust that click, maybe adjust the volume over here for this. Hit OK. And just send it to the headphone mix. Go to our routing, take it out of the master parent send, and just send it to our headphone outs, which for me is three and four. But if you had more outputs to use, you can set them up over here and use as many tracks as you want. So now we're not going to hear this click track in the control room. Just the drummer is hearing this. But now we could hear this click track. And again, we could set up as many click tracks or metronomes we want by doing it this way. And another benefit of using the quick source metronome is we could also print it when we render our mix. When we use this metronome, it doesn't get printed during our renders. But anything on our tracks that we're hearing, in this case, this one, is going to get printed in our render. So as you can see, each one of these can be set up completely different by double clicking it and adjusting it in the click source properties. Let's change this to a high square wave. And it only applies to this. Adjust the level to be quieter. But the one over here is still like this. So every one of these items that are click sources could be completely different and sent to different places, making it a lot more flexible if you need more custom options for your metronome or click track. So that's pretty much it. That's the click source metronome in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.